This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Yeah. Mame. Mame. Where was the... Ready to, ready to go? The play. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm the not, the I'm, wonderful I'm, thing about this preamble is this could all be the episode. I'm, I'm never... <laughs> <gasps> cruel now I know those are glaives but they look like those little peppermint candies they do you know and that's okay <laughs> no it's great humbugs. I love the humbugs yeah pick okay. up the pieces now, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to um... I'm Ooh. putting in quarters oh, oh great <laughs> put in ten Let's... how authentic ten credits yeah, that makes sense ten credits ten credits I have a credits ooh a credits um, all right. And if we burn uh, through all our credits, we'll agree right now, we die for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing because that happens. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to the Kroll Arcade Experience. Oh, my um, God. So that this is... is, of course, recreating the scene from the film oh, yeah. that you watched together with us last week. I remember this um, scene. Where Colwyn <laughs> climbs the mountain... Uh, gathering the pieces of the glaive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needed oh, to do oh, that. Yeah. yeah. He definitely yeah, didn't find it all in a puddle of side. warm goo. No. Intact. Yeah. No, he found each little spike hanging out. I might be playing out. too well. He definitely climbed a giant Cheeto. <laughs> I, I have assembled the glaive. <laughs> oh, damn. Now we must shoot the slayers and rescue my army. Mm. Oh, yeah. You gotta get, rescue your army for sure. We've, we've, so my army. we've already wildly so. departed from the movie, like even no, this, in the first screen. No, this sounds. This seems right. This is a shot. Oh, my this is shot for shot. Green fatigue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the gray cacti. The luminous pools. Oh, first. Ow, oh, ow, ow, ow. first of all, he's using the glaive, which never happened in the movie <laughs> <laughs> till the very end. Do you control I'm the, glaive? the glaive to fight? Yeah, well, I, I control the direction it throws. Um, oh, oh, oh. And for some reason, the down and, and right uh, are reversed oh. on my controller here. I could say I could fix it, but... That's brutal. That guy's so fucking fast. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, game over, colon one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We put in yes. A credits. That's right. Why are uh, we... Why is the game over? It lets we us start over eight times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is bull pucky. You forgot this is the old times, Matt. This I is was, the before times. I was there. Oh, we're we're Gandalf. eighth in skill. Yeah. Already. You were there, Matt, and you didn't like it. You only thought that you did. <laughs> I like the idea of it more than I liked it. You're not I'm not gonna lie, you're right. Oh <laughs> Damn. press the start button. Press the start button. That was the demo. That was the demo. That wasn't right, actually me playing. Right, so. right, sure. It definitely seemed yeah, like so you were just playing chicken pieces. with that boulder. There's five pieces when it's real. I think they definitely look like broken dildos. I think that's actually true. A little bit, yeah. For a lot of 80s nostalgia is that, you know, I mean, well, that's nostalgia in a nutshell, right? Like, it's just, it's a it's an idealized version of what was actually happening. Yeah. You know. The 80s were real green and brown, and they weren't that exciting. We didn't... I don't know. Whoa. This the first part did, This first part does not prepare you for the second part. No, not at no. all. No, in no way. All right, boys, I need you to all converge on me, please. To me! To me, my army! Mm -hmm. So these are all Liam Neeson's character, then, because yeah. he was dressed in green. Yep. I wonder if he got paid for this. I bet you. So I've got my whole army here, now and now you have I gotta to kill finish everybody. Off the slayers, and that might not be very easy. But I do have four glaives. Yeah, so. just nice. like the movie. Mm -hmm. Just like the movie. Right. Well, oh. Colwyn actually had the ability to throw multiple instances of the glaive. He just spent no time figuring out how it works. He just tied God. it impossibly right on his belt. Laser. You did. Yeah. Um, I don't. 
want to waste my... Okay, you know what? We are AAA from this point forward until we get a good... Spin. You're never going to beat me at number three. <laughs> I'm so good at All this right. game. Oh, you don't even know. Anyway, yeah, like... Uh... There were some colorful things, but mostly the 80s was a lot of green and brown and a lot of wood panels. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get this this little musical stinger if you're in danger of being run over by a boulder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty sophisticated. Oh, and the boulders also destroyed the little shrubberies. Oh. Yep. That's a thoughtful detail. Mm -hmm. You could tell okay. it was an arcade game. Get all my glaives. I might spend some time killing the slayers yeah, yeah, proactively yeah. this time. Do you have to recover all your dudes? Like, can they even die? Cause... I don't know if they can die yet. Because it doesn't look like they there can. There will be opportunities later for them to die. I mean, nice. Yes, that is the point of... It wouldn't be crawl if they couldn't. Not. I mean, it's very important that Colwyn loses men. <laughs> yeah. You were saying a, that the... No, that one... That no, guy, oh, that guy totally died, in the, now, died in the quicksand. Luke, you mentioned that the controls are somewhat reversed for you? Uh, no, they're just two buttons. Oh, okay. um, yeah, my face buttons are not... Man, you hey, crushed hey. that! I did better, because I was paying attention to where the lasers were going, as opposed to where the slayers were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have to collect my army again, because they got lost a little bit. Um... And I have to lead them to the hexagon here. The hexagon? Mm hmm Yeah. What, um, what is... The, the hexagon, famously a large part of the story of Thrall. <laughs> um, Does the hexagon represent the old man? Oh, god damn it. Maybe. Is it Emir? Emir is the hexagon? Yeah, he was actually Spirit. a Modron in disguise. In Emir, sorry. I always forget. Well, oh. that hexagon came from me. Oh, god. Yeah. There's just as many slayers here, and they're all... Oh, that's that, rough. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make it to the beast. How many, how many stages are there? I don't know. Four, maybe? Hmm. Is this thing pre-populated with scores? Yes. Yeah. I think all old arcade machines were, because they didn't want to have an empty scoreboard. Now, they have this daily heroes list here, which I think is a cool innovation. You know, you didn't always see not only the list of sort of pre-populated scores and the all-time high scores, which I presume would mean you'd have to just leave the machine plugged in and on. Yeah. Um, but also... A lot of um, a lot of cabinets predate like modern memory storage, right? So they needed to be powered yeah. in order to remember. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also had like daily stats, right? Like, or until it was unplugged stats. Yes. Yeah. Oh goddamn! That guy just came out of nowhere. Unlike the slayers in the so movie, who are just standing in the woods. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are brutal. Um, I'm making the mistake that I was making previously, which is mm -hmm. I'm paying attention to the slayers and not the lasers. Fuck you, dude. Jesus. There is, in your defense, an awful lot going on. <laughs> it is. It's. It's a. It's a teensy tiny little bullet hell, isn't it? You know. You're also not really supposed. To win, you're supposed to continue spending quarters. That's true, which I have now done a bit. And I'm going to run out of my ten sort of starting quarters. Well, it was nice knowing everybody. <laughs> it was worth it. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't regret our pact to die for real oh. upon Colwyn's tenth death. I, I didn't agree to this. Your agreement was implicit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think you were the one that suggested it. I think no, I would never. It but was definitely me, but let's blame Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know when you said that first stage doesn't prepare you for this stage? 
I bet you anything, the programmer said. And the cool part is, is the first stage prepares you for this stage. <laughs> Well, it definitely prepares you to dodge shit at a high rate of... Wow. You know... Oh, I lost another one of my You lost army. two. And then like yourself. a bunch of people in my army right now is almost a liability, though. Yeah, if you had no one to... This one's coming for me. They're not helping you kill these things. They have no. zero Slayer kills. Yeah, they are, they are not performing their function as an army right now. Like, are you an army if all you do is die? <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh, kind of. Like, I don't know statistically how many people in war actually have any kind of confirmed kills. So, yeah, kind of. I think I did hear somewhere that relatively few people actually had to kill another person. Um, hmm. But also, you hear statistics about hundreds and thousands of people dying on certain battlefields, so... Right. Well, I mean, but that's like, you know, people on the ground getting murdered with bombs and shit, for the most part, I'm assuming. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. And Unless also, I guess. So like, those battles represent perhaps a smaller percentage of the people who actually go to war. Yeah. Would you guys like some crawl trivia? I would Please. Love some crawl trivia. Oh god. All right. Uh, we got to do something while you keep dying. And I don't blame you yeah. by the way. I couldn't do better. I'm just for the record. Um okay. So according to special makeup designer Nick Maley, the uh, special effects character of the beast was the first self-contained animatronic suit. Providing not only facial movement, but also lung, heart, and body fluid movement. Without a single Did, external there was cable. Lung and heart movement? Yes. Yeah, his his organs move. Visible lungs and heart? Yeah. Yeah. And body fluid movement, all without a Amazing. single external cable. Wow. That is uh, impressive. Bone guys, like, can we can you as my army at least come over to me? No. They're not they're not well trained, line, I'll say that. They suck. I mean, to be fair, they weren't well trained in the, in the movie. That's accurate. No, That's it's accurate. just a random gaggle of assholes in the movie. Prisoners, even. There are so many slayers. You're doing amazing, Luke. Yeah. Just I keep, might just... have to... Oh, uh, God, I still got shot. I know, you were There's like... only one you, guy you, left. You were Get hiding in here. that little yeah. area. Each of, these, yeah, uh, each of these screens has as many slayers as the entire movie did. <laughs> Break down the front wall of the hexagon when it is black. What? Oh, gee. Oh, right, that part where he had to break the big hexagon. Yeah, no, I remembered this. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the movie. This is what he was doing while uh, Ymir was uh, romancing his spider lady. Yeah. <laughs> it's a deleted scene. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Luke, you're a stressful. superstar. It oh. is. Uh. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> I do appreciate the effort. That must have. Yay! Oh, oh that yeah! Was a lucky yeah. Cheese it, nice. fellas. Yeah, my my army that were hit that were stuck in. Okay, save Princess Lissa. Avoid the beast. Avoid his fireballs. Oh, oh there's his little heart. There it is. He looks like a Cyberman. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, boy. Oh. All right. Oh, 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 yeah! All right, boys. Get him. Get go, him. Go get, get the him. beast. Oh, no. Oh, the beast up. escaped to fight another day. But Time to do it again. But... Well, what? <laughs> wait, same wait. Quarter. Hold on. Did we win um, or lose? Yes. Are there questions? <laughs> I... Uh, Go on. Oh, I see we're in the core gameplay loop. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so this movie has notable for featuring early screen appearances of Liam Neeson and Robbie Coltrane. Yep. No, we got that one. Everybody knew that. Uh, here's your here's your math. 
Um, the Cyclops says oh. that fire mares can travel a thousand leagues in a day. Uh, did he say that? Did he say that? I mean, like, I, I think don't recall so? him saying that. I recall them saying that it was like two thousand leagues away, like the uh, the Iron Desert. Mm. That did he? Oh. Yeah, something like that. Well, let's okay. spool it up again. We'll do another quick watch party. Um, how fast can fire mares <laughs> run? Yes, Look, I got the top score. Nicely done. Uh, 58,200 points. Fire mares are a species on the crawl wiki. Fire mares are mm -hmm. a species of horse on the planet crawl, possibly other planets. Their appearance is that of normal horses, except their apparent top speed is a thousand leagues in 24 hours. Really? But I mean, the distance to, the, like, the whole premise of all that math that I did was based off of the statement that was made of the distance to the, mm. um, to the Iron Desert. Like, we even, like, I did the math, I checked the, the, it it, al the it also Google it, maps and it was roughly the distance from like Halifax to Manitoba or to what was it? What did I say it was? Winnipeg. Yeah, Winnipeg. Uh, yeah. Winnipeg. Thank yeah. you. So the, it 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 means it took them exactly. It took they were on those horses for twenty four hours. I think one of my soldiers just killed a slayer. Nice oh, job, wow. soldier. That must have been Liam Neeson. Uh, if a league is three miles, then a thousand leagues sure in a day is one hundred and twenty five miles an hour. But, so the problem is, if they said that the fire mares travel a thousand leagues in a day, then it would have been impossible for them to make it to the Iron Desert in time to hit that 24 hour. I agree. Up. I agree. So they must have to, they must go faster. This is yeah. bullshit. Somebody needs to think about this. Um, <laughs> Pick up your army, lead it to the hexagon. Come on, boys. You're actively making it harder for your king. Oh, god damn it. Uh, so 16 Clydesdale horses were trained for months to play the fire mares. Hmm. Huh. And by trained, they mean, like, abused. <laughs> Pushed well, off of cliffs and stuff. Well. Harassed and abused. Well, that doesn't seem like a month, uh, multiple months worth of training for the horses. Because <laughs> all they really did was get harassed uh, and then, like, run in a straight line with people on their backs. Like, yeah, well, those horses were pretty much just molested by stuntmen for the... They, they were actually trained to uh, make their hooves catch on fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that, that is hard, yeah. That takes months. Yeah. <laughs> and also trained to run at 125 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, triple crown winners hate this one simple trick. <laughs> damn it. Uh, the dub for the death screams of the Slayers was taken from the Mahar Shrieks from the movie At the Earth's Core from 1976. Just grab some random sound from some other movie? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look it up right now. At the Earth's Core. Oh, you got them. You got them, Luke. Yes. Sure did. Oh, shit. There's the whole goddamn movie is online. Oh, nice. But that doesn't help you to find the monster death sound. Okay. This movie looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be our next... Uh, oh, my God. Our next watch? There's so many rubber dinosaurs fighting each <laughs> other, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Maybe I've seen that. Oh boy! At the Earth's Core in 1976. The whole movie is on YouTube. Peter Cushing's in it? Oh yeah, no, oh, uh, I didn't even... The MST3K no movie. Even came the this time. the oh, uh, did MST3K it? did that, yeah. I remember because of Doug McClure. <laughs> they wouldn't leave that guy alone. Well, one of the creatures who dies in this. My task here is just. Oh, come on. All right. Well, I mean, I guess that's that. Just a toucher? Much, but... Well, I mean, yes, but also just to, like, 
just kind of ignore the beat. I don't know why I have so much trouble dodging those. Um, like, I, I know the direction they're going. They don't appear to be moving either. So I, I'm just walking into them like a numbskull. Anyway, please continue. I apologize. No, it's fine. Um, it's fine. I'm, I'm just, you know, giving, giving out right facts. Last credit, by the way. I yeah. am amazed. We have beaten the game once, though. Do we still have to die if we? No, we beat the, the game. Credit? No, we we beat it. Oh. No, you saved us. We did. Right. We. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, it is incredible that you actually got through this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It. Well, I mean, what is incredible is that, yeah, I like. This should have been harder, or... I mean, like, it, it's just looped, right? Like, oh. uh, not that I want this to be harder. This is dumb, <laughs> but, like... Um... Uh... Guys? Yes? There is a behind-the-scenes promotional documentary about the making of Crawl. No. Holy shit. Oh, well, I think I know what we need to do it, next week. It's called Journey to Crawl, and it is available on the DVD for the movie and it's nice. narrated by Tom fucking Bosley <laughs> okay I don't know I'm, who that is okay well he was the he was the he was the dad from Happy Days he was one of the sheriffs in fucking uh, Murder She Wrote okay he also was the voice of David the Gnome <laughs> wow I gave you three credits if you don't know who any of that he is now I'm, I can't help you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need to see that shit. That sounds amazing. Right? Oh, God damn it! I so need to I see that. I do love that you got hit by the first shot there, Luke. <laughs> I... I'm unclear as to how I managed to get hit by that. Like, that was a feat. You kind of swerved into it. You sort of uh, outflanked yourself. Uh, you, you outflanked yourself there a bit. It's like I'm... Ma I'm I am somehow compelled to walk into things that will kill me while playing this game. Maybe that says something about me. I think Maybe it's that says probably about, about the design the of the game, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You guys never beat me, but you came close. Oh, no, Luke's, Luke's got the top LV, score. LV0, that's me. Oh. Well, the O, but... Up mine, I, I guess. Top score with 58,000 points, yeah. Fine. Yes, the the the... Top three, three score that just happens to co coincide roughly with your name that you've taken credit for. I took I credit apologize. for it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, Bernard Breslau, who played uh, Rel Cyclops, is six foot seven, but he wore oh, wow. lifts. He was definitely tall. He wore lifts to make him f several inches taller. Oh. Wow. Just had to get an even seven, huh? Yeah. Hey, a Alex, he beat you. Right. Oh yeah. No, I'm uh, I'm six six. Yeah. Holy cow. It's uh it's funny because I'll be watching something like um like uh, Succession is the last example that comes to mind. Succession's got this character Greg. It's a good show. Greg's a Greg's a great part of it. Um, Greg is like he's like a gormless yes man. Yeah. And as a kind of physical comedy, they just hired the tallest, gangliest dude they could find. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they don't do any, like, Lord of the Rings trickery to make him look normal size. He just towers over everybody. And it's Holy there's something, like, just physically hilarious about it. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> You're the chosen one. Holy shit. It's like watching Neo at the end of the first Matrix movie. <laughs> just, uh, anyway, so I, uh... I was delighted by his performance as Greg, and I was like, how tall is this guy? He's enormous. He's like, 6'5". <laughs> he's, like, he's, yeah. He's, he's an inch shorter than me. He's uh, an yeah, shorter Rel's, than Rel's, you. Rel's got an inch on me. I That's mean, pretty, to be fair, cool. you're you're very tall. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's... Yeah, like, much taller than... Oh, come on. Seriously? Like, oh, so damn close. Uh, I, I'm six foot two, and when I walk next to you, <laughs> Nobody would ever guess. Never, everybody's just like, look at that little fella. With that <laughs> uh, there's for anyone who has wanted to be taller all their life. It's not great. You just hit your head on stuff. Like I, I, a uh, few weeks ago, I like gouged my fucking scalp off open on a low hanging part of the garage ceiling. And that just uh, doesn't happen if you're, you know, five eleven. No, it's true. Oh, the hexagon's all red this time. Mm, what does this mean? 
shit, that was a mistake. I don't know, but... I like it when there's no slayers spawning in. It makes my job easier. <laughs> wow. That was so <laughs> crazy. Strategically just, just done. get right up to the thing. Uh, you know, optimize. Yeah. Alright. So I think I have one life to... Oh, to fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Get to Lissa. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah! What an get ending. Him. My army needs to chase the beast off. and. Yay! That's your reward. You get to play more. You get to play more. Exactly. You get to get a high score. That I'd probably beat your high score with this about. one. I might. Well, I was at 58,000, so I haven't beaten it yet. <laughs> but I'm on my way. You're on your way. Alex, I do the same they thing as you. They like, a lot more Slayers in I, New Game Plus. I, I look up, um, you know, what, what height actresses are, and I, I'll be like, oh, that's how high, like, that's what I would look like if I was in that scene, but I have to, I'm like five foot tall and they don't let people my height um, be in, mo in TV <laughs> in and movie. movie. So like the closest is like Kristen Bell, I think, who I think might be five two or something, but oh, damn it. it's close oh, enough. So you're just five feet on the nose. Yes, I am five feet on the nose. Wow. We would make for an interesting <laughs> lineup. We would, yeah. Uh, and Luke, you're pretty, you're pretty tall-ish, right? I'm yeah, I'm six even. You're six even. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, well, I, so I would just look like a I child, play. probably. That's okay. Or like a Bob's hobbit, a halfling. Me. Yeah, you you yeah you definitely yeah, uh, yeah, cause like, I don't know how tall Lewis is. Do you guys? Do you, I don't even know. I don't even have any clue. Yeah, I, he's never really. I don't think he's ever mentioned it. I don't even know. I have no idea. Like, looking at him, I have no idea. And Andrew is bet exactly the same height between you and me, Luke. Okay. He's like 6'1". So six one. He's 6'1", six so... Yeah. That's, that's wild. What a world we live in. Well, now you guys can picture us as as huge, except for uh, mm -hmm. except for Julia. Except, except for, me. for me, who's average, and Julia, who is five. You are not a six foot tall guy. Is not average. That is not is no. No, it's not. No, that is not true. I think like five ten is average or something. Five. Yeah, I must be surrounded by very tall people in general. Like maybe maybe my. Uh, perspective is skewed because I hang out with, like, Andrew and Matt or and Alex, you know, like so many people I know are taller than me, so, like The average height in Canada is 5 foot 10 Yep. There you go. So I'm not far off average. I keep uh, running into people while running errands and stuff who are much taller than me. What? And, what? uh, it's an unusual experience but not, like, a ton of them, but, like, every few days. Whoa. This is one kid I ran into while buying groceries. He had to be 6'10". He was enormous. He was one of the biggest. He was, he was like, he was rail thin, right? He yeah. was, he was a just a just a towering individual. Yeah. And I don't know where I was. I was with, uh, I was with my partner somewhere, and uh, we ran into a young woman who had to be um, six eight at least. Damn. Uh. uh I say at least because, like, I really felt like dwarfed. Like, I felt like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt, I felt weirdly like in peril. I don't know. I it is, yeah. It's one of those things. Uh, so in the U.S., the average height is five foot nine. So you got yes. everybody beat. Uh, Luke, five that was nine, did you say? Flawless. Five nine. Yeah. I yeah. Actually, we got through that whole thing without losing a life. That's crazy. So yeah, you're getting really good at this. <laughs> it's That's inspiring. A skill I will never make use of. Oh well, no, this is this is the start of the King of Kong documentary <laughs> that's gonna become Luke's life. The King of Crawl. I wonder what the top recorded high score for Crawl Crawl the arcade I'm headed, game. Is. I'm headed to Twin Galaxies right now. <laughs> Now, Alex, when you see other fellow tall people around, do you, like, high-five them? Do you exchange, like, a look? Is there any kind of, you know, 
I don't know that there's a whole lot of tall guy solidarity. I mean, like, I don't think it's there's antagonism necessarily, but like, uh, it it depends. Um, so it. generally speaking, when I encounter someone who is taller than me, I figure they must be an even bigger novelty to their peers than I am. <laughs> So I tend to just leave them alone, and I can be one person who doesn't go up to them and then be like, goodness, you're tall. <laughs> uh, mind you, I don't really mind it when people come up to me and go, goodness, you're tall, because it, I don't know, it, they, they seem they seem excited about it, you know? <laughs> I'll just go, yes, I am, you know? How, how nice of you to notice. Oh my gosh. Go. Also, the the only good part of being tall is that it delights people that you are tall. Doesn't really. <laughs> the the rest is just hitting your head on stuff. So, I I, you know. I got to admit, like I uh, I find six foot two to be the right amount of tall. Oh yeah, I think I, six two is solid. I hit my head just the right amount of times, which is to say, <laughs> like really hard once a year. <laughs> Enough to remind you that you're alive. Yeah, yeah. Just to just to remind me that I'm tall enough for that to happen, but like, not not enough to be for it to be like a real pain. My uh, my younger sister is uh, six two or six three. Yeah. Um, and I think even she finds it to be frustratingly tall. It it can. Be. <laughs> the top score is now ass. Nice to <laughs> Uh, so on uh, Twin cal Galaxies, the uh, the the submitted score is four hundred and ninety six thousand one hundred and ninety. <laughs> okay, so I have a little ways to go. You got a little ways to go. Well, like, we won't leave until you finish that. It's not that it. impressive. No, no, we'll stay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, it, it looks incredibly difficult, but it it also <laughs> does seem. The more I see you play it, the more I see how it's possible. Yeah, it's a very possible game. Now, do you figure that the person who has that record is a huge crawl fan, or do you think it's just a person who saw that that was a soft one to, to beat? I It feels like a soft target. Like, I think I could get there if I tried really hard, and I don't feel that way with most arcade game records. Yeah, yeah I think it's probably not even going to try to beat um, the, the king. Or the Donkey Kong, like this is now a crawl arcade game stream channel. <laughs> so, Red Elf, my weekly crawl arcade game progress. Yep. Red Elf does is, the name. The name of the guy is Red Elf, and he is a verified yeah. user on Twin Galaxies. Nice. And he has six hundred and thirty records. See, yeah. yeah, it was soft then, you know. So yeah, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. Dude's just farming records. Uh, he has number one in Crawl. Yeah. In Joust. Ooh. Joust, all right. In Asteroids. I feel like Joust has got to be a, a well contested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's oh, that sounds prestigious to me. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think this yeah. is this this guy just takes down scores. He, yeah, it yeah. looks like he just looks at a gay at a, at, a, at a list of games is like next, next. He placed third at the annual Fun Spot tourney five years in a row. This guy's not messing around. This guy's this guy's something else. Red Elf, if you're listening, and you won't be, but if you are, God bless you. He might be. I mean, like, well, I, yeah, maybe he doesn't care that much about his crawl record. <laughs> but maybe. Hey, if if you do happen to be watching, you know, reach out, man. Come and show us how it's done. Yeah, I'd, I'd love yeah. to watch you play Crawl on here. Next next September, you are invited. <laughs> as long as you're, like, cool, you know. If you're an asshole, then, you know, don't. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If you self-identify, yeah. If yeah, like, if, if you're a Billy Mitchell, please just don't. But, like, you know. Yeah. If you're cool. If you want to if you wanna come on the show and teach us how to play this and set the record straight about Billy Mitchell, that would be entertaining. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I'd love to watch that. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Average height for men in the U.S. is five nine, five ten in Canada. Wow. The, so we're uh, taller here. Oh. Yeah. I say I, we, the collective we, because you know I'm. Well. We. You bring. You bring our average down. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna lie. 
Uh, uh, the the chief reason my sister finds being that tall annoying is uh, shoes. Actually, she has the same uh, shoe size as me. She wears like a yeah. thirteen men's. I can only I can only imagine like uh, Meg, my wife. She is five nine, and she has a lot of trouble with shoes. Mm. If she was as tall as your sister, it would be impossible. Impossible. Well, well I have trouble getting shoes too, because if it's a dress shoe, I gotta wear like a size five and a half. Oh, yeah. Shit, you know what I didn't do? So that's hard to get. Yeah. So I got troubles, too, you know. Hold on. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I'm, I'll, I'll tell my wife about your troubles. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to play this thing the entire time. with. Oh, oh yeah. come on. Now you got to start all over again. I got to at least beat my, my high score now um, with playing the game looking right. The average height of, of uh, a woman in the U.S. is five foot four. Mm -hmm. So we're shooting for sixty-four, two hundred ish. So, and in Canada, it's also five foot four. Oh. Wow. So I didn't bring the average down after all, huh? I mean, you brought our average down. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yes, the, oh. At the level zero average. Yes, I did. Like you're, you are so short. You actually bring us down to average. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I, mm. I'm not a, I'm not good at math. I'm not a math guy. You guys want more? Uh, yes. Krell, Krell trivia. More. Of course we do. All right. I want you guys to take a guess on how many movie sets. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm gonna wait because that yeah, was wait. really loud. Sorry. <laughs> How many movie sets were constructed for this movie? How I'm going to say 150. Way less. I'm going to say 27. Luke, guess. I don't know, 40? 23. That's a lot, though, guys. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I guess. Uh, the way you phrased the question made it seem like it was going to be a large number. I mean, it, it is. We just we just don't have so, any context for it. Yeah, I do want to set a record straight here, though. Like we were talking a lot of shit about the budget of Krull. Yeah, that game that that movie had an enormous budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, my what I've heard about it, and I don't know of all the how how much truth there is to it. What I gather is that much of their budget went to sets. And set design and stuff. 23 sure. of them. But I mean, like, we were talking about, like, oh, you know, low budget film. Like, you know, they'd never really had a chance against Star Wars and stuff like that. No, this was on, like, a Star Wars. This was on, like, a, like, Empire Strikes Back kind of budget. I think, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. When I say that they tried, I mean mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. like, they poured their money into it for 1983. Yeah. Like, they did. Um, I think they. Uh, I think it was mostly about the allocation of resources, rather than the expenditure of resources. Like if yeah. you took the same money and moved it around, you could well, probably make a slightly more cohesive movie. If if we're being honest, one of the big trivia things here is, Crawl was one of the most expensive, produce expensively produced motion pictures of its time. I think. Uh, if if you look at another movie like um, like uh, like The Princess Bride. No, I, I, I'm biased because I love The Princess Bride, but it's not easy to find a thing critical to say about it, right? Yeah. Like, the, it, it looks really good all the way through. It's a very polished mm -hmm. thing, The Princess Bride. Um, it, it lacks very little by way of, like, art direction and cinematography and acting and comedy and everything that you'd want out of oh. a movie. That last guy gave me Oh, I know. You were, you, said you were doing it. Yeah, you made him and pay. Oh, that sound. I'm assuming that some of what makes The Princess Bride good is that it probably wasn't the cheapest thing ever to make, but I also doubt it was as expensive as Krull. No. Yeah, no, that's fair. I think it just wasted less of its money. Mm -hmm. The writing would, was better? <laughs> I would not uh, classify any of the like set work that they did as having been a waste of money. No, that's true. I, I don't think they spent Beautiful. their money badly. I think they may have just uh, not distributed it evenly enough. Oh, hmm. shit. Sure. Okay. 
You guys want to hear about the games that were made? Several games were developed and released as promotional tie-ins, including two Parker's Brothers games, a card game, and a board game. Oh. A home video oh, game really? was... Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we have the home video game. That's definitely going to be yeah, played. Yeah, for Atari 5200. Um, 5200? Be, yeah, but because of the low sales, it was changed to the Atari 2600. Um... Mm. And then there was the arcade game, which you're seeing now. Yeah. And uh, they also developed a, cr a crawl pinball game, but production was canceled. There were only 10 completed test unit prototypes. So out there, there are only 10 crawl pinball tables. I would imagine I at least a... four of them are trashed. The yeah, I know, right? There was a, uh, there is a um, pinball game thing on Steam hmm. that is like all licensed pinball tables or pinball machines, basically. So it's like perfect recreations of the actual like pinball machine. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they have crawl. That would be amazing. Right. Um, there, are, there are other. There's a crawl skin by Natal Merrill as well, like back in the the crawl watch party video too. I don't know if we're mm -hmm. gonna do that later. What's that? Let's 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 see. Oh, it's uh, it's okay. So from Natal Merrill, burning crawl skins. What would the Sierra game of crawl look like if it were made by Roberta Williams, Jim Walls, or Al, and or Al Lowe? Alternative crawl skin. What does fire mirror meat taste like? Okay, first of all, we Spicy. need we need the oh. we need the questions for crawl theme. I know you're busy right now, but we'll put it in, in we'll put it in in post. Yeah, I'll put it in post. Right now. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a hot second to play right yeah, now. Right now. Oh, that's perfect timing. <laughs> perfect yeah, I'll, timing. I'll, I'll even Actually, do do, do, do you do you want to just queue it up now while you're typing in this thing, Luke? I could um here, one sec. I don't think I even have the folder open, but <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, there we go. And we go to Sierra Saturday. Sorry, I know we said we put it in in post, but I actually oh, do want to no. hear it. My F drive is fucked up right now. I don't think I can get there. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll no. we'll, uh, we'll stick to the original plan. <laughs> oh, no. it's It was my H drive. We're good. We're good. Here comes. Maybe in just a second when I find the music folder. I, I neglected to comment on it, but did you guys see how Luke was playing that last run? That, that was, was fucking incredible. <laughs> I'm starting to think he's Is immune against one? boulders. Yeah. You've never been hurt by one boulder, have you? Maybe. Not. Since but you started I have playing. I tested the, this thing. I've got to play the song again. Hold oh, on. sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Last time I had the volume turned way down on, uh, on my music. Player, God, that's so. good. God, that's good. Yeah. 12 op. God damn. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, I know F this is on the nose, okay. but I kind of imagine Fire Mare meat being spicy. Like, innately that's spicy. Right. That's, that's yeah. what like, I was a saying. naturally I so spicy close meat. To, to beating ass here. Like, spicy jerky. So it's 2,000 points away. And it doesn't take much to get to 1,000 points. Um. Yeah, like spicy I imagine, food. fire mare meat is hard to cook because they're fire creatures. <laughs> yeah, High, highly fire resistant. That is yeah, true. Yeah, you, you must need. You, you must be like. You, you have to go to like where you smelt iron. You know. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, or it could be like fire mare basashi or something like that. You know? I actually. Just, yeah. Horse sashimi, you know. I actually tried or for sashimi. I tried for. I've had it before. It's it's okay. Is it good? It's gamey. It's gamey. Yeah. Well, that's that's to be expected. Have you had chicken sashimi? I, I think, think I remember. I remember preferring it over uh, whale. Over kajira. But I mean, like neither of them, I would next necessarily actively seek out. Yeah. Chicken, chicken sashimi. I don't think I've had chicken okay. sashimi. No. It doesn't seem like something that is quite as novel or interesting as like whale or horse or. 
It also seems like uh, contrary and chicken sashimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah it sounds like yeah. I get it. It's impressive because it's like it's yeah. a thing that you don't. That guy just ran at you all and of, stabbed. All you. of my glaives were out. All my glaives were oh. gone. Jesus. I, that and one isn't even as doesn't for even deserve a I think proper name. I think a Sierra Crawl game would be amazing. <laughs> sure. And yeah, my totally. God. If that's not something we should make, I don't know what is. Yeah, uh, it, it'd be things like uh, you'd type in like "throw glaive" and the game would be like, "You must only use it when you need it." And we'd be like, "Fuck, okay." <laughs> well, you've already sold me on this premise. I'm in. Like, I I would love. I oh man, just making. The, the unfortunate thing here is is like, you know, that is still a license owned by somebody that will jump at the opportunity to require us to pay a large sum of money in order to do that. Uh, yeah. We've, we've but... done crawl-themed D&D campaigns before where we just kind of changed all the names. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, if it was, like, legally distinct from crawl, um, oh, then, like, yeah, totally. It's a shame we're recording this conversation. <laughs> They're putting it on the internet. <laughs> I mean, like, you can say I'm gonna make a thing that is very similar to Krull but legally distinct, and yeah. I don't think anyone has any sort of legal Yeah, I like, I don't think you can links to stand on. I don't think you can copyright the idea of uh, you know, a lethal magic fidget spinner. Well, I mean the glaive was not even particularly like original. <laughs> But uh, I think it would be amazing. I think I, I actually think a Sierra game would have been the right way to adapt this. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Because I see a there's a lot of roll slow shit that happened. style game. Yeah, yeah. That would have been fun, and it would have been yeah. age appropriate. You know. Oh well, we live, we learn, we move on. I think I'm just gonna test this through here. Yeah, I can farm points. Oh, what? Oh. Well, you're in da- oh. Okay. Time to get the high <laughs> scoring crawl. Holy cow, look at it go. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit. It just gives you it just keeps giving you points. Holy shit. Well, we've we've got your number now. What's your face? Red elf. The- elf. Red elf. Yeah. I mean, I there's. This was Red Elf's. Uh, there's no way that Red Elf uh, didn't do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say this must have been their um, strategy too. Oh, oh, that, <laughs> that Whoa! Was a very aggressive. Not boulder. that this is necessarily okay. still okay, the easiest the thing to do. Now the boulders are coming for me. Yes, they are. I can see I what's see. happening. Yeah, it's a fine balance. Yeah. Wow. You do eventually suffer comeuppance for that strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that that's built into the game, though. Well, I mean, they can't just let you do that. No, no, of course. They must have expected that someone was going to get cheeky here. and See, now I'm playing it like they intend you to, like caring about scores. Like, in the modern era of video gaming, nobody gives a shit about scores anymore. The closest you can get are people that like care at all about achievements. But like this... Hey, actually, I just got a free... I got an extra man. That's amazing. Don't... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, the fact that it is rewarding you with extra lives, too, um, means that you could potentially keep doing this for a while. Yeah. Why? I don't know if it's every 30,000 points, but... And, oh, like, I don't out. think you're getting points any slower than... Oh, shit. They're yeah, watch out. Watch oh, they're out. homing. Yeah, they're, ho- they're homing. Oh, my you. God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, those ones are waiting for me. They had my number, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the sentient boulders of Krull. Or someone's been just rolling them down the mountain this whole time. I mean... I mean oh, Jesus. What was that one's... What was that one's problem? <laughs> I wasn't sure where it needed to be. I mean, this would not be a submittable score. That's the unfortunate thing because we are playing on Mame. Yeah, I do not. Ha- I do not own a Kroll arcade cabinet. I'm sad to say. Um, 
We should buy one of those remaining pinball machines, though. Oh, man, if we could, if we could find one. I think it would I be wonder. almost as cheap to get the rights to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. That is, yeah, actually. We also need to play the board um, game, the crawl board game. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, is there a way for us to play that? Is that something that they have on, like, you know, um, oh, tabletop simulator or... Oh, my God. I just I just see, found a, a whole possibly. photo gallery of the crawl pinball machine. Yeah, it's awesome. Is it magnificent? It is magnificent. Awesome. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, it's That's like the the illustration is not great on the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. sure, yeah. Oh man, here I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in. Um, I gotta find a nice slow one. Oh, the hair. Oh, yeah, you found it, did you? I did. Yeah. I'm assuming it must... Is it Liz's hair, or is it something worse? Uh, it is. You yeah. guessed it in one. Yeah. yeah, her hair is all... It's sort of... Her hair is already extremely 80s, so, like... She's, she's got a torch, and he's got the glaive. Nice. And the... I, I mean, he has to. Yeah. Yeah. And the beast's the big stupid of eyes are behind on the table. Like the illustration, when I say it's not great, what I mean is it's amazing. <laughs> is that's what I actually mean? Like, is it amazing? Like, oh god, this is amazing, but like not artistically. Great? No, what it or... is is it's somebody in 1983 with the resources they had to create fantasy art based on a few stills they were allowed to see from the movie. Okay, so it looks like a like a tour science fiction novel book cover. Yeah, it's fucking great. Like yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. did this, like props. God, Ugh. I put I put the link in the uh, level zero mm -hmm. NPC Slack. It's fucking, yes, I'm looking at it right now. It's it, 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 like it, uh, and look at that look, hexagon motif as well around the the frame of that. So yeah. there's hexagons, and I didn't notice them. In what is the, the movie? deal with the hexagons? Where did that come from? I don't know. Did we miss an Maybe there was stuff planned for it that didn't get in. Or maybe we just missed a bunch of hexagons that were there. Maybe I should... I mean, it's a big deal here. And I think there's a hexagon... No, there isn't a hexagon in the Atari version. Well, well fortunately, this is only the first Crawl Timber, Crawl Tacular, right? Oh, yeah. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll do this all again next year. Yeah. Where the N level zero NPCs uncover the... The mystery, mystery of the hexagon. Of the hexagon. <laughs> Yeah, Krell Temper is one of only two holidays that I observe. The other is Bedford Days. <laughs> Bedford Days and Krell Temper. Bedford Days and Krell Temper. I, they're, they're the only holidays I observe. I carry them with me all year round. Yeah. Yeah. What are Bedford Days? Bedford Days is a perfectly harmless community holiday for the... Uh, no! Oh, Jesus. I got fireballed right in front of Lissa. Oh, that's so dramatic. <laughs> Such a sad ending. Uh, the community of Bedford in the Halifax Regional Municipality has this harmless community event where there's like, you know, bounty castles for the kids and a mermaid show and fireworks and stuff like that. They it's do, on and around the they Canada They do a pancake breakfast. They do, well, they do like a concert on the water. Mermaid show? Yeah, where the mermaids show up and swim around in little pools. Well, yeah. did you know, guys, that actually mermaids are not that well known in, in other parts of the country? In fact, we think they're made up. How dare you? <laughs> Look, that you is... know every time you say that a mermaid dies, right? <laughs> yeah. That's so well, I'm saying we're we're mistaken because you guys it's pretty commonplace where where you guys are living, but wow, where I live, wow, you don't see that very many mermaids at all. Yeah. Well, you're too far inland. You're too far That's inland. True. Well, there's the lake. Is they're not lake creatures, I suppose. The, the sea creatures. Yeah. The mermaids. They make a good living. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> good they make a good living out here. Yeah. So yeah. There's a mermaid show. There's like I don't know. They'll they'll like play movies out at the ice cream place. It's a whole thing. Bedford days. Nice. Uh, we don't anyway, works. We don't participate works. in any of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. What what I do is every year I log on to Twitter, and I make sure that Bedford days, the organization, is unable to use Twitter for any promotional <laughs> purposes, because I'm always tweeting. As if Bedford Days is a horrifying pagan ritual. <laughs> uh, and I use the hashtag, hashtag Bedford Days. Um, 
through the Twitter account Bedford Knights. Yeah. Yeah. So if Matt you, and I have been doing this for years. For years. <laughs> so if you guys go, if you actually get onto t- to X or Twitter or whatever the fuck it's called now, and uh, look up uh, anything with the hashtag uh, Bedford Days, you will see okay. that. Or just go to the Bedford Knights Twitter and at Bedford Knights, and you'll find all of that stuff. I might have to find a new platform to it because it's really gone. It's really gone in the shitter. Yeah, it really has. Um, it's really rough. Like I was, I I was trying to show some friends the horrifying tweets from this year, and they had seen the number of free tweets that they could see. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it's bullshit. I I don't know if I've ever seen someone buy something with less conception of what it was they were buying. Yeah, well, billionaires, right? Am I right? Yeah, it turns out they're a little bit divorced from reality. Who knew? I, you know, I'm He's also I'm, a little bit divorced from uh, his ex-wife too. Oh, <laughs> I'm, al- I'm also willing to uh, admit that you know, I, who has the rights for this? Who's got the rights for crawl? Uh, Columbia. Col- Pictures, yeah, I was, yeah. God damn it! It's gonna be hard to take Columbia Pictures down. I mean, who are we kidding? Do we have to take them down to get the They're probably going to make one of these soon, like a a, a reboot of Crawl any day now. I I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, Yeah, there's a big hexagon in this pinball machine. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just, what does it signify? No, we don't know yet. The it's the hexagon has one side for every blade of the glaive and also one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And one extra for good measure. Uh, oh, it's okay. great. It's great. Um, hey, fun, fun, fun fact. More, if you want another uh, crawl fact. Yes. What crawl facts? Um, my favorite facts about crawl. So there was actually a deleted scene in crawl okay. where the hexagon? in the original. I, uh, it was no, it was sorry. It was in the original screenplay. It was never filmed. Sorry, it's not a deleted scene. In the original screenplay, Colwyn saves Yanir from the spider in the Widow of the Web's cave by killing it with the glaive. Oh wow! Wouldn't that have been nice? He just shows up and fires the glaive at the spider, and it dies. Nice. There is kind of a crawl chin here. Oh, for crawl formation, did we do Citizen Scribbler's crawl? Form, so no, crawl we, we 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 will. We'll but okay. I think we should save that for the second episode. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, and well, I knew, yeah. There's someone also did a crawl a crawl three a three D SketchUp model of the crawl pinball machine. If you want, if you use SketchUp, Whoa, apparently someone nice. Russian made a a three D version of the crawl pinball machine. I love that. And SketchUp, so uh, we, can we mock that in. Let's do it. Let's make it. I'm going to 3D print every single piece. <laughs> um, we also have a uh, a question for Crawl from uh, uh, Joseph Davies from our last Colonel's Bequest, mm. too. So that's going to uh, have to be... Probably should have read that first, honestly. All right, I think we're done with this. Fuck this. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> when Let's... Matt taps out, he taps out hard. Look at that score, though. It's amazing. Bro. God damn, bro. Did so good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And Luke's going to say, I don't want to stop. I can't. I'm addicted. No, my I'm putting my controller down. My hands are sweaty. I'm getting my, <laughs> my score, my high score. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. All right, everybody. Join us uh, soon. We're just going to do another episode. Woo. You deserve it. It's all for you. It's all for you. And a little bit for us. Yeah, a little bit for us. And a little bit for us. We have more questions for Krull. We've got more Krull trivia. You just you join us. And if you're really not into Krull, well, you know what? Fucking get over yourself. Embrace the stupid things in life, because life is pretty stupid. Also, <laughs> if you're not into Krull, you're probably not watching these. It's true. So I, I hope can, not at least. I mean, so well, I, what are you doing? You might be watching this because the Crawl Arcade game is an interesting novelty, but Yeah, that's fair. Alright. I am 
over one eighth of the way to the world record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could just go, man. I could, I could. If I practiced, I could get there. I just don't understand how some people. Well, I mean, <sighs> you can't submit it. So what you're the also point? you're but also I can over still and get it. You're you're over an eighth of the way to uh, the record for oldest living man, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true that's fair all right everybody we'll see you next time bye no amount of practicing will necessarily make me make it to oldest living man and i mean i'm i'm unhealthy enough i'm not sure i'm gonna make it like i believe in you yeah bye everybody bye see you next time stick and stick stay and stay <laughs>